Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Listen, don't feel bad for not dating potential, because men don't date potentially beautiful women, so why would you date a potentially successful man? That is one way are looking ostrich. Men don't date potentially. There is no such thing as potentially beautiful women. Only a potentially successful plastic surgery. Now I appreciate the effort you put into one single video, but do me a favor and release that ostrich back into the wild. Okay, okay, quick story time on the time that I broke up with my boyfriend because my horoscope told me to. I think a lot of people have done this. I feel like I've seen story time similar to this, but yeah, I'm a little bit nuts. And that should have been the end of the story right there. But no, this is what she meant when she said quick story. Two minutes and 14 seconds. I'll fill in what's missing. She was wearing something inappropriate at work. They told her that. She felt some type of way and when she left work, she started complaining to one of her friends. And then this followed. I get like a little notification from my horoscope app that I had that said something like, the job and people in your life are holding you back. Let go of them. Something along those lines. And I was like, OMG. Like, no way. This sparked an immediate conversation with my best friend Kelly. And I'm telling her about my Libra moon and how I'm like so independent. And like, I don't need any of this because I have a Libra moon. And she looks at me and she's like, go quit right now. Give them your keys right now. And I'm like, per, I'm giving them my keys right now. So we literally immediately drive to my job and I hand them my keys, curse them out and leave. But I had to take it one step farther. I'm like, you know what? It said relationships too. So I like urgently text my boyfriend at the time, God bless his heart and tell him like, we're done. This isn't working. With very little to no explanation other than the fact that I'm a Libra, babe. Like, imagine that please for a second. Your girlfriend breaks up with you because she has a Libra moon. I don't have to imagine that because I've never dealt or ever will deal with this type of crazy. Maybe this should be two questions to ask even before you start dating someone. Do you live your life based on some planets? And second, do you have a TikTok account? So there's a few pet peeves I have with those uh spicy sites. And I'm going to spill the tea. Because in my opinion, when you pay to sign up to see something, you're not paying to sign up for the opportunity to pay to see something. It's almost like double dipping is the new standard. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Except you're on all of those sites. So here's an idea. You don't like the pay-per-view? Don't ask people to pay-per-view. So this is a story that changes your perspective on something forever. There was once a time that I was taking an Uber to the airport and my Uber driver was actually this 60 year old lady. So when I sat down in the car, I noticed that she was looking a little shabby. You know, she had like this very dirty white tank top on, had some stains on it. She looked like she hadn't showered that day. Her car was very messy. But you know, what do I care? Like, I don't mind whatsoever, right? I'm sitting in the car, I'm minding my business. It's like a 45 minute drive to the airport, whatever. She starts talking to me and the first question she asked me is like, hey girl, so like, what's going on? Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your love life. I'm like, girl, like I ain't got no love life. Like I'm single as can be. Why don't you tell me about yours? Like I said, she was looking um, older, I would say close to retirement. So I thought she was going to tell me like about her grandkids or something like that. But she didn't. So she starts telling me about her boyfriend. So she's like, yeah, it's like not going that well. And he's good. He's so good. But when he's bad, he's so bad. Sometimes he's home and other times he's not home. Keeps my juices flowing, but just very unstable. Like that sort of love hate relationship. I felt like she wasn't in like the best situation. So I'm just like, like, oh, like, what does he do? And she's like, you know, he's in between jobs right now. Like he can never settle in a job. You know how these bad boys are. She continued to tell me how she has no money left for retirement, how she was just like making ends meet. I got one very big lesson out of this interaction. Please, ladies, never give the bad boys a chance. No matter how hot they may be, just don't. Yeah, okay, but who's gonna keep your juices flowing? Just don't would have been a good advice. Except this is what you meant. Chase money, not bad boys. That was the caption on your video. And I thought at the beginning you meant don't chase the bad boys, chase a long-term relationship. But oh man, was I wrong. You could approach literally any girl and tell her, I am so sorry for the way that Matt treated you. And she would start crying. Not exactly my idea of having a hobby, but sure, I can make girls cry. But you don't need me to make you cry. Just put the phone down and go cry about your ex. Hey, so I know we've only been dating for like three years and that's a lot to ask, but could you, um, show me some f respect? 
No. If you haven't earned that in three years, chances are you never will. So why should I? How do you even date someone for three years? Is this one of those, I don't want to put a label on my relationship type of things? Or it wasn't a relationship and it was more like a situationship, friends with benefits type of deal. Because you know, three years or even ten years of that, it's not going to bring you any respect. Me and my boyfriend have been together for little over three years. It's been mostly smooth sailing and we are still so in love. Or so I thought. Recently, I've moved to London for my dream job. So we're doing long distance, which hasn't been easy, but we're making it work. We see each other every we, every other weekend, but we have had a little bit of tension because he doesn't want to move out of his hometown. Mm. And I can think of anything worse than staying in one boring seaside town for the rest of my <laughs> life. I've compromised for the last couple of years by living in his hometown so we could be close together. But when this job came up, I couldn't turn it down. When I asked him if he would consider moving to London for a couple of years so we could be together, and he flat out refused and said it was unfair to expect him to move away. Really, my question is, should I worry that I wasn't noted anywhere in his five-year plan? And should I worry that maybe he's having second thoughts about our relationship because we are now long distance and do not have a clear path for the head of us? I was just asking him. Yeah, just ask, have the conversation. Yeah, and that should have been the first thing you did. Because I'm pretty sure you already made up your mind. And now you're asking strangers, hoping they'll give you the answer you want. I could be wrong about that, but I think that should have been the conversation you had with your boyfriend. It's a really tough conversation to have, but you need to go through it. And unfortunately, for you to make it work, one of you will need to compromise. Whatever decision you make, it needs to come from yourself, not from some strangers on the internet. Well, like if I fancy someone, I will just go up to them because what am I waiting for? What? I'm going to try and get this in 60 seconds so I can answer the question. The reason why she's going wrong is because she's doing all the things she shouldn't do. Number one, she is the one that is approaching the guy that has no balls to go and talk to her. So having the expectation that a man that won't come over and talk to you is going to have the confidence to actually do all the things to get on a date and then see a date through well, fail. Number two, she says she doesn't expect things to like have her chair pulled out and her car door opened and but have drinks bought for her. She just wants the basics. They are the basics. They are the things that any man on the planet should be capable of. And if they are not capable of those things, you are not going to get your trips to Bali and your memory making experiences. That is where you're going wrong. Stop going for the guys that will not approach. Yeah, yeah, I get it. That's the bare minimum. That's what men should do. Well, except men used to do that. You didn't like it because you can open your own doors. But that's not even the issue here. You chose to leave some parts out of her video because it will fit your narrative. I also did that except I left out the part when she said men are trash. But I'll still use this part just so you know it will fit my narrative. I rarely get approached in a club anymore. If, in fact, I actually do it myself. Like, if I fancy someone, I will just go up to them because what am I waiting for? What, some kid to finally pluck up the courage to say hello? Boring. I don't expect a guy to open doors for me, pull out chairs or buy me drinks. I just expect the bare minimum, right? And that is literally to just have some respect. Yeah? What is it with all these games? Everyone's acting stush. Everyone's being toxic. I'm bored of toxicity. I'm bored of it. I want to be a homebody. I bought that sofa for a reason. All right? I want... I want to sit in, right? I want to save money. I want to go on holidays, Bali, make experiences. But everyone's just boring these days. They all just have to like, oh, let's just play a little game. Let's just waste this person's time. Let's just shut the f up. You're boring. You're boring. And there you go. This is the video you responded to. Oh, men should do this, a man should do that. Never at any point you wanted to say, uh, maybe the club is not the place for you to meet a husband. You know, want to keep you at home, want to go on vacations with you, want to care enough about you to open the car door for you. Nothing, none of that. Men already should know that and do that. For whom? For her? <clears throat> Absolutely not. I'll never chase a man. But if he has a beard and tattoos, a might just power walk. Better start walking now and catch some speed because he might just pass you by. Like probably so many before him. What do you call a dog that can do magic? What? <laughs> a labracadabra dog? <laughs> 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 
not a dog fan? Not a bad joke fan. Labracadabra, no. That's so good. All right, that's going to be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.